today i will explain about breadboard a breadboard is a fundamental tool it is used in electronics prototyping it allows you to quickly and easily create and test electronic circuits without the need of uh, need for soldering and uh, it is used for making permanent connections a breadboard consists of a rectangular plastic board with grids of small holes arranged in rows and columns so these holes are connected these holes are connected internally in a specific pattern and uh, the holes in the breadboard are usually grouped into two sections with a central gap separating them this is a central gap the two columns running vertically along the sides of the breadboard they are called as a power rails these two are power rails on this side also uh, these two are a power rails in some bo a breadboard it will be marked as plus and minus plus indicates vcc and minus indicates ground and uh, other side also it is marked as plus or minus if it is not marked so we can take any one of the line as plus and any one of the line as a ground on both the side so in this breadboard it is not marked as plus and a minus the two columns so they are called as power rails these are typically used to provide the power to the circuit the left rail uh, or the right rail you can connect it connect it to the uh, positive supply that is plus 5 volts or uh, plus 3.3 volts and another one you can take it as a ground now i'll explain about the terminal strips the terminal strips are rows or uh, rows of holes these are called as holes they are horizontally placed across the breadboard so here in power rails these are vertical holes and uh, uh, in the terminal strips these are vertical uh, horizontally placed the holes in each row are electrically connected so this the uh, in this there are five holes they are internally connected so you can connect your um, component anywhere between these five points all five points are same allowing the components and wire wire to be inserted and connected easily so let us uh, take one uh, component so here i have i am using a resistor and how to connect resistor in this breadboard the resistor has got two leads so connect one lead to horizontally five holes are there to any one of the hole you can connect you can connect here or here or here or here or here all the five points are same connected to one point and another lead anywhere so anywhere between these five horizontal five points so i am connecting here so you never ever connect the uh, two terminals to the same line so it is it is not the correct um, correct connection so because you are connecting both the leads to the same point because all five points are same so if you want to connect resistor one terminal should goes to here and other terminal to another hole not the same hole so this is one way of connecting resistor if you want to connect another resistor in series so let us take one more resistor and the first leg, leg should goes to the uh, 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 second terminal of your resistor so here you have inserted so you uh, another four holes are free now so you connect one leg to one of the hole and insert to other hole here so this is nothing but the two resistors are connected in series one leg is connecting here the other end of first resistor and the first end of second resistor they are in the same line it means that it is connected in series see here uh, there is a separation between uh, uh, these two lines here so the uh, points which are uh, we are uh, seeing here these points are different and these points are different but the five points in one row are same the five points in other side or uh, this row are same so you can do connection like this also connect one end of register to this row and other end of register to this row so these two points are again different the uh, one end is connected here and other end is connected to different point like this also you can do the connection so uh, as i said these two are a power rails power, suppose if you are considering this line as a power and this line as a ground so this 
uh, this point 1 2 3 4 5 five points and these five points these five points these five points these five points up to here they are internally connected so you can connect power from these lines to anywhere between these because they are these five are internally connected one two three four five these all five are internally connected you can use any one of the point for the power and any one of the point for the ground similarly this side one two three four five these five are internally connected so you can connect power to any one of these points as a power any one of these point as a ground there is a separation between these two lines 1 2 3 4 5 this one 1 2 3 4 5 so these two are separate they are separated to each other so you cannot connect one wire to this power rail and one wire to this power rail so there will be no connection between these two and these two because these are internally connected and these are internally connected and there is a separation between these two so this is led uh, uh, light emitting diode it has got two terminals the long lead represents anode and a small lead represents cathode anode means positive cathode means negative if you want to connect this led to breadboard connect long lead to any one of the point here and short lead to other point like this while doing connection for your circuit diagram so connect like this so these two points are different you never ever connect anode and cathode to the same line because these all five points are same so you should not connect like this this is wrong method so always connect one end to one point and other end to other point so like this you should do the connection so let us see one example how to connect battery uh, LED and uh, resistor in your circuit. So this is our battery. So the battery has got two lines. Uh, one uh, red indicates the positive and black indicates the negative. Connect the positive wire to power rail. This line I am making as a positive power rail and this I am making as a ground ground. So connect the ground to another terminal. So these two points are different as I told but these five points are similar these five points are similar these two points are different that's why one uh, wire I am connecting to one hole and this is positive and another wire to another point this is negative and LED has got LED has got um, two leads long lead and a short lead long lead indicates anode and short lead indicates cathode then how to connect this so the long lead uh, short lead you connect to ground see this point i am connecting to this point this is ground point we know that all these points are same that's why i am connecting uh, uh, cathode to ground and anode to any one of the point here and from the same anode point connect one register and other end of register you connect to power rail so if you do uh, this connection so your led will turn on so the uh, connect uh, you use one battery one led and one register uh, so you can uh, do one experiment on this lighting the led using a simple battery uh, in this experiment uh, you can use 9 volts battery and one red led and one kilo ohm resistor uh, to do this experiment uh, thank thank you for watching this video